Hi, folks. Chris Voss here from the ChrisVossShow.com. The ChrisVossShow.com. Hey, we're coming to you here from South by Southwest. We're having an amazing time here, South by Southwest 2018. And uh, we've been all over the city doing all sorts of stuff. One of our sponsors is a company called Lighthouse at Light.house. You can check it out. It's the only and the first AI camera out there, which is pretty amazing. And I'm here with Shannon Guyman, head of product design at Lighthouse. And we're going to talk about the Lighthouse camera. Now, this thing's been pretty mind-blowing, Shannon. We've been walking around showing everybody at South by the, the uh, uh, camera itself. And there's a lot of really cool technology that went into this. So uh, tell us about the camera, if you would. Yeah, so it's an AI camera. And it's the only camera out there with a 3D sensor for your home. Mm -hmm. So it's got 3D technology. It's got machine learning. Um, and it can tell you the difference between adults, kids, and pets in your house. We've also got a natural language interface, so you can actually ask questions. So you can find out what's happening in your home wow. um, and find out exactly about the things that you care about. And you ask them through Alexa, Google Home, so or you can, the app? We have an app. So okay. on your app, you can see the live view of what's happening in your home, but you can also ask questions. Okay. So you can say, tell me what the dogs did today, okay. or what time did the kids get home yesterday, or tell me when you see somebody new. Mm. Yeah, that's really important. So it's got the facial recognition, so it, it can recognize what's going on. And I think it can recognize objects like the pets and stuff, right? Yeah, so it okay. recognizes pets and children, and it can recognize actions like waving. You can set up alerts, so you can say, tell me when you see someone waving. Um, and then when someone waves to the camera, you get a notification right on your phone. Wow, okay. So uh, the, the one challenge I'm always having is it keeps identifying me as a child on my house, so I'm not sure what that's about, but it might be my problem. Um, but there's some really cool technology that went into this with the AI and self-driving cars, which you wouldn't equate normally self-driving cars and a security cram. What? So tell us about that. Yeah. So our two founders came from the self-driving car world. Uh, so they, that's why our cameras have 3D and that's what makes us unique. So they realized that the 3D sensors that they were familiar with uh, could bring something new to the home security space. Mm -hmm. And what you find is that a lot of home security cameras out there today, um, they don't have 3D and they, they tend to provide a lot of false alerts. So with a lot of the home cameras out there today, you get motion detected, but it's not really motion, it's shadows, or it's light changing throughout the day, or it's headlights shining in your windows. And because of our 3D sensor that comes from self-driving car tech, wow. um, we're able to actually detect physical motion that's moving through a space, so we don't give you false alerts just based on lighting conditions. And you guys worked with uh, some of the guys who are early on built some of the first self-driving cars, right? Yeah, that's right. So our founders, Alex Teachman wow. and Hendrik Dahlkamp, both came from um, like award-winning self-driving car background. And our one of our main advisors, Sebastian Thrun, is kind of legendary in the yeah. self-driving car world. Yeah, like the very first, like way before Tesla, self-driving cars. And so they've taken that technology, the AI features of it, and it packed it into this thing so they can deliver probably what I, I, I I got to test this some more, but uh, probably the best camera that's out there on the marketplace. I mean, certainly the image is just so rich and, and, and detailed. I was really mind blown by it. Uh, I got a chance to test it right before we left for South By. And the night vision was actually just not black and white. It was picking up some color. Our, our camera resolution is really great. And we've been hearing about uh, from our customers that they really appreciate the 1080p and mm -hmm. the night vision. Yeah. Uh, but the people that have been, we've been talking to here at South by Southwest are getting really excited about the questions that you can answer. Mm -hmm. So the, the camera is awesome, but that's just kind of the basics, right? Mm -hmm. Like the thing that's really exciting about our camera is its smarts. Um, the fact that you can ask it about anything uh, that's happened during a particular period of time or when mm -hmm. certain people are home. You can say, um, tell me if you see the kids with anyone new. And then I'll get a notification if my kids come home with somebody that hasn't been at my house before. Um, and being able to get that kind of action that you really care about, um, getting it when it's happening live, you yeah. get the alert of the things that you want to know about, is kind of game changing. It definitely is, especially if your home's getting burglarized or you know, someone's in your home that you don't know. You, know, you definitely want to find out what's going on with that. Um, yeah, the, the image was just detailed. Now, the, the camera in this thing is pretty large, and it's larger than any, I think, any camera I've seen. I've reviewed like hundreds of security cameras. Um, and so that's probably the thing that really gives it that, just that beautiful, rich detail. Uh, I'd set it up in my bedroom, and I've got a, just a beautiful uh, Henrundon Bernhardt bed that's got all this detail. And I was just like, holy crap, it picked up everything. And it just looked really good. 
Um, I looked bad on camera, but I'm, that might be personal too. Uh, I, it couldn't make me any, I mean, can you make a camera that makes me look like I weigh less? That might be good. Well, you know, we, uh, <laughs> we have software updates coming out over okay. time. The All camera's right. just getting smarter and better. We'll so as we that. get more feature requests, you know, we'll, we'll keep it in mind. Yeah. I, I'm looking for more of a Brad Pitt face too, if I could just have that. But the, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not going to hold out much hope. So it's got pri great privacy controls, uh, to it. Tell us some of, some of that. Yeah, so you can always turn the camera off. So there's a button right on your home screen. So if you decide you don't want the camera to be recording, you turn it off, it will not capture any video, won't send anything to the cloud, and you have total privacy. We also have a privacy mode that's automatic. So you can set that to turn on when you come home. Mm -hmm. And so you can say, when I come home, I want the camera to automatically turn off. Or when any member of my household comes home, I want it to turn off. So you, you can select how you want that to work. Mm -hmm. But basically, if you don't want the camera running while you're at home for privacy reasons, it can do that automatically. Yeah, that's always good to have. I have like a, a, a pet's uh, camera in my in my uh, bedroom where I can throw treats to my dog because she'll usually sleep under or over my bed. And so, but that's something I want turned off at night when I sleep because no one wants to hear me snore, you know. Uh, <laughs> so uh, a few other things on here. Uh, it is amazing you can talk to it um, and get the real life updates where it can know when the dog sitter comes by and picks up the dog. You can know what's going on when the kids are coming in and out. Uh, our friend Jesse Stay was talking about how he has seven kids. And so being able to know where they're at in the house, what's going on, what they're up to and and uh, have they figured out that there's cameras in the home and they learned to sneak oh, around them? <laughs> <laughs> so it's really great that it can take and do that. And it's a beautiful camera too. Now I think it can be mounted a lot of different ways too, right? The base and screws. Right, so um, we've got a, a standard base that it comes with, but we also sell a wall mount so that you can attach it wherever you want in your home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's a beautiful looking elegant camera, but it's not too, it, it, it's something that should blend in with most motifs. And so uh, I, I kind of like cameras and like that because they might not get uh, seen right away by burglars and stuff. You know, it might take them a moment so you can get a good face shot for the police. Um, and uh, but it's beautiful looking enough to, you know, sit on a shelf or wherever, be in script, but also be able to get what you need. And, 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 you know, I've seen some really ugly security cameras over the years. So, you know, you're like, where am I going to put that in my home? That's awful looking so this is really beautiful really elegant i just think it's a beautiful looking camera it's pretty nice i'm gonna have to get them every room in my home when it comes down to it <laughs> i think i think we've pretty much covered pretty everything so we've got yeah. we've got the search search for anything that you're interested in we've got the alerts for things coming in the future that you he haven't heard about um, we've got face id which we haven't talked much about but you can tag faces of everyone in your home and then get alerts based oh, on the yeah, people yeah. that the camera recognizes mm -hmm. or when there's somebody new um, and there's going to be more um, coming. As I said, we're, we do software updates both to the camera and to the app, and we're listening to what people are asking for. So the camera's going to get smarter and more functional over time. And it's got AI on it, so it just keeps getting smarter and, and all that good stuff. It, I, it was a really compelling story, especially as we walked around South by, and we, we took the one that I brought, uh, and we were showing it to people, and they were just like, wow. And then Jesse was showing them uh, the, the, his live view from home so they could see the detail and they were really impressed. I mean, the detail is just there. Um, and that's important for a lot of reasons, for the AI reasons, the facial recognition, like you talked about, being able to give it commands and, and have follow those commands of, you know, tell me when the dog uh, sitter comes by or when the kids walk in the door, or what, what have the kids been up to today? <laughs> yeah. You know, just, I love being able to talk to things. Like one of the problems I've been having when I go to, uh, and I, I'm getting such in the habit, I think most people are, like one of the problems I have is I have Google Home for my lights and stuff. And I don't, I can't remember the last time I touched a light switch. And so it was kind of funny here in the uh, motel at South by Southwest. I woke up in the morning and I went, hey Google, turn on my <laughs> lights. And then I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> so you really get, you really uh, get dependent upon this stuff, but it's great because you can, you don't have to go, you know, do stuff. You just talk to things and away you go. So it's pretty amazing. So one of our features that I often hear is a favorite of our customers is something called Daily Recap, which is an automatically generated time-lapse video of each day. Mm -hmm. So um, for one of my friends, this is his favorite feature because he's got a young daughter who spends her day at home. Mm -hmm. And this is a way he gets to feel like 
he's still part of her daily life. Wow. So each day he, he can look at the daily recap and he can see that all of the cool things that she did that day. And it's it's a short little video, but you get a really good sense of what happened mm -hmm. uh, throughout the day. You might like, like that, Ryan. Connected. You got a new baby at home. You, you mm -hmm. catch up, see what the kids have been up to. I think it's great. You know, we have so many of these great automated devices where we can, it just in, enhances the quality of life and the quality of time we can spend with the people that we have relationships with. And so I think that's awesome. I mean, it's just, it's just great. Especially where you can just tell it what you want to do and it does it. So everyone, uh, be sure to check him out. Uh, we'll be wandering around South by Southwest uh, 2018. So if you do see us here, try and find us, ask us. We'll show you the Lighthouse camera that we have on us. You can go to light.house and that's the website. So you can take and look at it and all that good stuff. I think we're giving away a free camera. So if you find me or Jesse stay at South by Southwest, we can enter you in the drawing that we'll have for that. And um, geez, I think that's about it, isn't it? Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Oh, and if you go to South by Southwest 2018 right now, stop by the Alibi booth, which is, I believe, is are we south of the? It's on Rainy Center? Street. It's on Rainy Street. So uh, come by. You can take a look at it. Uh, talk to the wonderful folks from Lighthouse and uh, see the units and decide if you want to pick one up for yourself. So everyone, thanks for tuning in. We certainly appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time.